Hello, students, and welcome back to Mr. Sandwich Reads. I am, as always, Mr. Sandwich. And yesterday, if you followed along, I read a passage uh, from this book here, Five Brilliant Scientists. And this is from the publication uh, Great Black Heroes, which also has, I believe it's it's the same. It's There's a website, greatblackheroes.com. I believe it's the same as this publication company. Either way, totally worth checking out. Um, I'll put that up here somewhere, probably up uh, over over there. I'll put up a little window there that reminds you to check out uh, greatblackheroes.com. Uh, really valuable website there. This book here, Five Brilliant Scientists by Linda Jones, illustrated by Ron Garnett. Yesterday, I read a passage on Ernest Everett Just, um, who was a remarkable marine biologist. And I had asked the question yesterday, um, please keep it in mind. Let me know what's your favorite uh, marine life. What's your favorite sea animal? Mine, if I had to choose, hmm, I don't know. There's so many. I have to come back. I love, I love to eat crab. I love, crab is delicious, but that's that's not against you, crab. Sorry. Um, what else? Dolphins are always great. Who don't like dolphins? You gotta be, you gotta be really, uh, really bitter to not like dolphins. Anyways, sharks are cool. Kind of scary. Um, turtles are graceful like turtles octopus they're really smart they they may take over the world so i don't know how i feel about octopus i think octopus are scarier octopi excuse me the plural octopi are i think are scarier than sharks because they can outsmart us i don't know they're brilliant um all right today i'm going to read about shirley ann jackson uh she is a great nuclear scientist let's hop on in i hope you're enjoying this please like and subscribe all right, Shirley Ann Jackson, born 1946, great nuclear scientist. Mom, one day everyone will call me Shirley the Great, exclaimed four-year-old Shirley Ann Jackson. Mrs. Jackson looked at her young daughter and smiled. Shirley was born in Washington, D.C. on August 5, 1946. Her parents, Patrice and George Jackson, believed their little girl was special, too. They were right. Shirley Ann Jackson achieved many firsts. She would become one of the most respected nuclear physicists in the United States. As a young girl, Shirley liked science so much, she did experiments at home just for fun. One day, Shirley decided to do an experiment with bees. She went into the backyard and sneaked up behind bees that were on the rose bushes. She gently scooped the bees into jars. Altogether, she collected bumblebees, yellow jackets, and wasps. The young future scientist put three bees, one of each type, into 30 different glass jars. She stored the jars in a space underneath the porch. Shirley studied how different foods affected the bees. Shirley also studied how the bees got along with one another. She wrote down her results in a notebook. Then she set the bees free. When she started high school in 1960, Shirley was still doing experiments. Now she entered them in the school's science fairs. Here we see Shirley collected bees and did science experiments for fun. Are there any science experiments you've done at home? Any fun experiments you could recommend? Shirley attended All Black Roosevelt High School in Washington, D.C. The school didn't have a good science lab, so Shirley did her experiments at home. Her hard work paid off. She was a straight-A student. Here comes the brain, students said when she passed by. Shirley graduated from Roosevelt High in the summer of 1964. She had the highest grade average in the class. In the fall, Shirley went to Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in Cambridge. They had the best programs in math and science. Shirley wanted to become a scientist. She was one of, the, one of only a handful of blacks who went to MIT. But that didn't stop her from reaching for her goal. She studied hard and she passed all of her tests. In 1968, Shirley graduated with a degree in physics, the science of matter and energy. One of my favorite sciences. After graduation, Shirley kept studying at MIT and in 1973, she received a doctor of physics degree. Shirley was the first black woman at MIT to receive this important certificate. Shirley mainly studied theoretical physics. That means she used math to figure out how atoms, the tiniest bits of matter, work. Shirley is one of the first black women to specialize in this field of science. And here we see the caption under this picture. 
Dr. Jackson feels that science fairs will encourage young African Americans to enter careers in science and technology. In 1960, in what, excuse me, in 1976, Shirley went to work for American Telegraph and Telephone, AT&T Company, in Murray Hill, New Jersey. Her work with Adams helped AT&T design and build circuits, paths through which electricity can flow. She helped them design and build semiconductor lasers, material that lets electricity run through it. Without these materials, you wouldn't be able to talk to your friends on the phone long distance or play your CDs. That's probably not an issue for any of you anymore. For me, I, play, I still play CDs. I play DVDs, Blu-rays. So thank you, Shirley Ann Jackson. Still, I have a CD player in my car I still like to use. Yeah. So what? Sorry. I'm old school like that. Uh, so thank you, Shirley Ann Jackson. Uh, through her work, Shirley met Morris A. Washington. He was a physicist at AT&T, too. Shirley and Morris fell in love and got married. They have one son, Alan. Throughout her career, Shirley has held many big jobs. She has taught at universities. She served for 10 years on the New Jersey Commission on Science and Technology. She received many prestigious awards and honors. In 1995, Shirley received a very special honor. President Bill Clinton named her chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, NRC, in Rockville, Maryland. This was another first. Shirley Jackson became the commission's first black chairperson. The chairperson's job at the NRC is very, very important. It is, it is to make sure nuclear power plants around the country are safe. The chairperson helps find safe places to store harmful nuclear waste. She makes sure that nuclear wastes are destroyed properly. The chairperson also helps decide how nuclear materials can be used in medical and science research. Dr. Jackson left the NRC in 1999 to accept a position as president of Rensselaer, Rensselaer, hope I'm pronouncing that right, Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. Shirley Ann Jackson is proud of her achievements. More than anything, she hopes that her success will inspire other African-American children to become scientists, too. And here we also see the Nuclear Regulatory Commission makes sure power plants like this one are safe. Do you have a favorite type of physics? Or not physics, a favorite type of science. Mine is physics. I like I like I like Ant Man. I like the, I'd like to imagine what it would be like to shrink down, shrink down, shrink down, shrink down to atom size, go into the microverse. But then I also like uh, astrophysics, I guess it would be, like things that are really big and uh, and giant. And I know that uh, like Einstein had a hard time kind of, and, and physicists in general, taking the big, the giant universe, the growing, expanding, ever since the Big Bang, expanding universe, and then uh, also the tiniest of little particles and working those two theories together. They're trying to do that. It's called the theory of everything. Anyways, I like physics. Um, but yesterday, uh, Ernest Everett Just also showed us a little bit about marine biology, also a very cool science. What is your favorite science? Let me know. You can email me at uh, mrsandwichreads at gmail.com. Follow me on Twitter, Mr. Sandwich at Mr. Sandwich Reads. Um, or you could leave a comment. Uh, but let me know what is your favorite science and any good science experiments you've done at home. Let us know. Keep us posted. Keep reading. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.